Hello, good morning, good afternoon. My name is Antonios Dimitriadis. I'm the Telco Cloud Solution Architect from uh, Nokia in 5G Vini project. And today with my colleague Tirta Ghosh, we are going to present the automation network uh, slicing. 5G Vini is a research project led by Telenor in Norway side, and then Nokia is a partner of it. Uh, regarding the network slices, uh, we have a dynamic environment. Currently, we use five slices. We have the standalone, we have non-standalone, and then we have also a distributed slice in two different uh, sites for the difference. But in the future, we may have 10, 20, 100 slices. That's why it's really, really important to automate uh, that part. And since we templatize the whole slice, it will be very easy to take the same instance and then deploy it in another site uh, using, of course, the different environmental uh, parameters. Uh, the biggest challenge that we had uh, so far, because this is a multi-vendor ecosystem, is about the interfaces. Uh, regarding the orchestration, we have different components from several uh, uh, vendors that they need to talk to, to each other. So when we talk about the network slides, we don't talk about VNF onboarding only, but we need to, to create the networks through the SDN, in our case, NUAD, or through the physical uh, network devices. Uh, we need to apply the policies in the firewall that we use. In our case, it was the Palo Alto, so we can say which VNF can talk to which VNF. And then, of course, at the end, once we have the network uh, slice in place, uh, the user should be able to use it. That's why we need to have also an interface to the provisioning gateway. So for some of them, we use the open standards uh, APIs, but uh, most of for most of them, we had to create uh, proprietary plugins. Uh, that was the biggest challenge and took us uh, quite uh, some time, but finally we achieved the one-click uh, deployment. And that will be the demo for today. Uh, my colleague Tita is going to, to show you the demo from uh, Flow1, which is a service orchestrator, how we trigger the uh, onboarding of this slide with two different network services under two different tenants. They cannot talk to each other by default. Uh, then we have to create the networks in SDN, in OpenStack, and then deploy the, the VNFs. At the end, as I mentioned, those network services will be under two different tenants. So we had to allow the traffic between them. That's why we need to apply the, the needed uh, configuration policies in Palo Alto. And then once we have those two VNFs, we should be able to ping, for example, to communicate from VNF1 to VNF2, but from VNF2 to VNF1 will not be possible because this is what we requested in the, in the firewall. So my colleague Tita is going to run the demo and then at the end, we will come to, to see the whole test. On screen is the full stack, the NFVI, the VIM, the VNF manager, the NFV orchestrator, and the end-to-end -end service orchestrator. BSS is not part of this demo. Further, the stack runs three columns, catalog, processes, and inventory. Navigating through system screens, NAVO catalog, end-to-end -end service orchestrators catalog, submit order from Swagger UI using TMF641 specs, orchestration in end-to-end -end SO and NAVO. Lastly, documentation in the inventory part of things. As per the demo data, this should look like this. Uber subscribed for an EMBB slice for video on demand service for its passengers. For the slice orchestration, two network services, NS1 and NS2 will be deployed and accordingly, two instances of a VNF will spin up. For demo purposes, the VNFs are Cirrus VMs. This is the NFV orchestrator's catalog. This is the NSD. This is the Tosca definition file of it. And among other things, this is the VNF descriptor in it. This is the delivery model from end-to-end -end orchestrator's catalog. It is a phased approach. In the reserve phase, it fetches placement information and records order information in the inventory. In the provision phase, it triggers the NAV orchestrator to spin up network services. Once done in the finalized phase, it fetches the network service and VNF details and documents it into its inventory where it renders an end-to-end slice view. We will place the order. The identifier is 719. 
the order is for EMBB slice and is ordered by the subscriber Uber end to end orchestrators order management and do a search. Our order is underway. All the activities are underway. Some are completed while some are started and some are planned. We now move to CBND and we see NS1 has been created. We are expecting another network service, NS2. Now both NS1 and NS2 are being deployed. In the end to end orchestrators inventory, we can search for the subscriber Uber. and extend to its topology view. So Uber has subscribed for a video on demand service for uh, large for one year. That's the product. And then this is the end to end slice with the 719 identifier. If we drill down from here, the information is incomplete because the deployment is still going on. Once it is done, this will feed more information into the end-to-end -end orchestrators inventory. Deployment is done. That's how a network service looks from CBND the VNF and the network service. And from the end-to-end -end orchestrator, we do a refresh. Information is still on the way. Now it has arrived. So this is the end-to-end -end slice with network service one and network service two, each of these running a VNF. If we go up and the end-to-end -end slice, Uber is the subscriber of it. Yeah, here now we are connected to the horizon. We are in the beam to see the two new VNFs that have been deployed. We see here the first one. It's a very, very fresh, as we see here, it's just uh, deployed. So as we see here, it's allowed to, co to ping from the one VNF, from the 250.0.2 to the 251.0.2, but not the vice versa. So we see here the IP, the one that we expected. And now if we ping, to the second VNF, we will see that this is allowed. We see the correct IP. Now, if we try to ping the first VNF, that should then be allowed from the firewall. Yeah, as we see, this is not allowed. So that was a demo for uh, today. Thank you very much. If there are questions, please uh, come back to us through the 5G Vini project and we are happy to, to provide you more information.